I wanted to live as a writer and not as, as anything else. I was looking for a place where that would be possible. I thought that I would stay wherever it was two years and then go back to Canada. I tried various places. I came to Paris and this was what I chose. Why? Why you stay somewhere eventually becomes a tissue, a network, a spider web of various things, your friends, your acquaintances. Uh, the attitude to a writer was very important. And the attitude to a writer here is one I haven't seen elsewhere. I found for the first time in my life a society where you could say you were a writer and not be asked for three months' rent in advance. As an independent writer, I was still in my 20s, and my salary as a newspaper woman stopped, obviously. It, was just, it didn't exist anymore, and I had no income. And I found that rather quickly difficult. With writing, it's always... Um, how little are you prepared to live on? You know, just exactly how many pennies are you prepared to pinch? So most writers today, if they were short story writers, would probably looking at, be looking at some other way of augmenting their income. I mean, when Hemingway left his job at the Kansas City Star to go off to Paris to write his stories, um, uh, we often overlook the fact that uh, his wife Hadley had quite a bit of money at the time, and that's what they lived on uh, for a long time. Uh, so it was a rather different kind of adventure that she launched herself into. Us was somewhere that was in shambles. I didn't see it that way. I said I saw Europe as I'd seen it in my reading, and um, I, I, I don't know how to explain it. And I didn't want anyone looking over my shoulder and saying, "Look, you can't pay your rent now," you know, because I, I realized what could happen, but I didn't dwell on it, or I wouldn't have gone. Obviously, it was right after the war. Things were very cheap. Um, there were a lot of places available because. Everything was like that right after the war. And uh, it was the old, really late 19th century dream of running off to Paris and being an artist. I think the great advantage of her move to Paris was twofold. One is she could look out her own roots with a certain uh, distance, because she was physically distant from them. Uh, the other was she could look at North American society and North Americans who were going to play some part in her, in her, in her work, for sure. She could look at them with more uh, distance, uh, draw a square around them and study them better. <laughs> 